There's this profound, timeless relationship that exists between pilots and their passengers. It's built on trust and an assumption that the upcoming flight will be safe and uneventful. At Cirrus, every day we're focused on advancing safety and expanding on that trust. We do it by harnessing big ideas to create the safest and most comfortable airplanes for our customers. It all began 30 years ago when Cirrus improved the trust equation forever by introducing CAPS, the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System, which is the ultimate backup for the airplane. Today, we're going a step further by backing up the pilot in case he or she should become incapacitated or unable to land the airplane. Many times, cutting-edge, game-changing technologies are reserved for larger, more complex commercial aircraft. So we're thrilled to be able to share an incredible safety feature that we're bringing to personal aviation to expand on the total safety envelope for Cirrus pilots and passengers. At Cirrus, we're relentless about aviation. We're constantly trying to improve the product and put in features that do everything we can, A, to make the plane safer, and also to give the people that are in the plane, whether pilot or a passenger, the comfort knowing that they're in the safest airplane they can possibly be in. Cirrus was founded with the idea that we're gonna do everything we possibly can to ensure that the aircraft and its occupants return safely. And as we've been working to make the airplane better and better and better, now, any occupant, a passenger, a pilot, can land the airplane with just the touch of a button. Introducing the Cirrus SR Series G7 Plus standard with safe return emergency auto land. We've been working for years with our good partner Garmin to develop this system and integrate it onto our platforms. For the first time ever, the training aircraft that you learn to fly in has the ability to land itself in the case of an emergency. That's pretty amazing. What's great about the G7 Plus is we now have a total safety system on the aircraft, just like the Vision Jet. So if for any reason there's a problem with the aircraft, we have CAPS, the whole airframe parachute system, to safely return the airplane to the ground. And if for any reason the pilot is incapacitated, a passenger can press the button, turn the G7 Plus into an autonomous vehicle, and it safely returns and lands on a runway where everyone can hop out of the aircraft. Safe return in the G7 Plus can be activated a few different ways. One, you can press the button, so you can manually operate it by pressing the button and activating safe return. Two, if for any reason the aircraft senses that the automatic stability system has to kick on a few too many times, it might think that the pilot is incapacitated or disoriented, activates an auto level mode, which then leads to safe return. And then third, there's also an emergency descent mode, where if you're at altitude and the aircraft and the flight deck senses that the pilot may be incapacitated due to a lack of oxygen at that altitude, there's a system in place to help it descend, activate safe return, and return the aircraft safely to a runway. So imagine yourself as a passenger going with your friend or, or someone you know or a spouse or business partner for the first time this aircraft. You're in the back seat and you, in an emergency, with the touch of a button, have the complete control to land the aircraft. And you do that. You reach up, you press the safe return emergency auto land button. Everything starts happening. Emergency auto land. Activating. First off, the system rapidly calculates what the most appropriate airport is going to be. And those screens in front, which used to be providing the pilot with information, turn into passenger friendly and passenger useful information. They tell you things like where you're going, when the aircraft's going to turn, what time you're going to get there. And the entire time the aircraft is navigating towards its destination, it's also talking to you. So you can hear through your headphones, over the speaker, it's telling you where it's going, when you're going to be there. For the duration of your flight, you'll continue to hear automated broadcasts to air traffic control, updating them on your progress. Next, the safe return system begins communicating with air traffic control. Aircraft November 722 Papa Lima, emergency auto landing in seven minutes on runway three at Kilo, Delta, Romeo, Oscar. In addition, there's also a button on the flight displays, which allows the passengers to talk directly to air traffic control and make a connection with them. 
And remember, Safe Return knows a lot of information. It knows how fast you're going. It knows what the winds are. It knows how much fuel is on the aircraft. So it's using all of that information in addition to what's the terrain. So it knows if it has to climb, descend, go around. Are there obstacles? You know, there are mountains, are there towers? It has access to data link weather. So it knows, is there a thunderstorm in between the two of us? Let's not fly through that. And if the aircraft is equipped to fly into known icing conditions, the safe return system also activates the smart pedo system. And it can also activate the anti-ice, the Fiki system, in the chance that it happens to encounter icing conditions. You're still sitting in the back and you're watching all of this. Remember, you've only done one thing. You pressed one button. And Safe Return doesn't stop there. What it also does is controls the flaps. It knows when it's getting on to approach to landing, and it can automatically put those flaps down in a position to set it up to land slower and safely. And one of the key elements that allows the Safe Return system to be so precise is new to the G7 Plus, a radar altimeter. So as that aircraft is descending towards the ground, we're getting a very precise readout of exactly how high the aircraft is above the ground. And it's using that to make decisions about when it decides to round out, to flare, and bring the aircraft into a landing position safely on the runway. And another amazing feature of Safe Return is the automatic throttle and automatic fuel mixture. So it knows if it needs to climb a little bit, adds a little power. If it needs to slow down, takes out a little bit of power. It also adjusts the mixture as appropriate for that phase of flight, bringing it full rich right before it lands and using it to shut off the aircraft when it comes to a complete stop on the runway. And as you descend into that final part of the approach, you get to see the true precision of the safe return system. You'll see it come in just above the runway. You'll see the aircraft round out so the nose comes up a little bit. The aircraft holds itself just above the ground while it's slowly bleeding off some airspeed. Then you see the aircraft come and gently set down on the runway, and then it starts applying the brakes automatically. And as the aircraft continues to decelerate, you could look and you'll see automatically the fuel mixture coming back, which shuts off the engine. You'll see the propeller come to a stop. To exit, lift the handle on either of the two cabin door armrests and push the door out. And at that point, the passengers are able to open the doors and safely hop out of the aircraft on the runway. We're often asked, why do we do things like safe return? Why do we do things like whole airframe parachute system? It's just what we do. And we feel like it's our responsibility to ensure that all the passengers on the aircraft have access to a safety system that in almost all situations has the ability to return them back to their loved ones that evening. We believe aviation makes the world better. Every time we get the opportunity to integrate a technology that makes aviation more accessible to more people or safer, we're gonna do it. Remember, Safe Return Emergency Auto Land is all about control, giving you the control to turn that airplane into an autonomous vehicle and have it go fly and land safely at an airport all with the touch of one button. We kind of expect people and want people to look at it and say, you know what, I don't anticipate ever using this system, that if they need it, it's gonna work.